Hello everyone, it's the crack of dawn. I'm Martin Zender. I report from the crack of dawn. 5.50 a.m., not a problem. Oh yeah, I can get theological on you. I'm sorry, but we don't have theological discussions at our church. Predestination, you wanna talk about that? How about predestination? What a simple, simple topic, really. Some people were chosen before they were born to believe. They were predestined to believe by God. Predestined before they were born? You're going to have to give me a scripture verse on that one, Zender. Ephesians 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who blesses us with every spiritual blessing among the celestials in Christ, according as He chooses us in Him before the disruption of the world. Your version might read the foundation of the world, doesn't matter, chooses us in him before the foundation of the world, designating us beforehand for the place of a son. Designating us beforehand for the place of a son. That is pre-designation, predestination. It's the same thing. All right, now let's look at the nuts and bolts. I want to get up close to you here for, for the nuts and bolts because I'm going to read you right out of my right out of my scriptures here. This is Romans 8, uh, 28. Now, we are aware that God is working all together for the good of those who are loving God, who are called according to the purpose. That whom he foreknew, whom he foreknew, he designates beforehand. Predesignation, predestination, same thing. He designates beforehand to be conformed to the image of his son. Now here's the nuts and bolts of how this happens practically in your life. I'm gonna show you a practical example of this with, with some candy over here on my counter, okay? But you got that to look forward to, but I want you to listen to this verse here. Now whom he designates beforehand, these he calls also. And whom he calls, these he justifies. Now whom he justifies, these he glorifies. It's a four part process. First thing God does is designates beforehand. Keep that in mind before we go to the candy. Verse 30, Romans 8, now whom he designates beforehand, these he calls. He designates you first, then sometime during your life he will call you. Whom he calls, these he justifies. He will bring to you the truth of justification, that you're righteous before God. And whom he justifies, these he glorifies. He predesignates, he calls, he justifies and glorifies. I'm going to illustrate this theological truth for you with, uh, with candy. Yeah. Gummy bears and raisins, chocolate-covered raisins, okay? I don't know if, if anybody's ever done this before. You might have seen this a million times, I don't know, but just put up with me, will you? Appreciate it. All right, here are all the people in the world, right? All the people that are ever gonna be born, okay? I'm not saying that we exist in heaven before we're born, we don't, but in God's mind, in God's sight, that this is all humanity, okay? He has these people in his mind. There's still many, many thousands of years from being born. God designates some beforehand. He foreknows some to believe in this life. In my example here, um, these chocolate-covered raisins are the ones that he designates beforehand. Whom he foreknew, he designates beforehand. That's just all before birth, okay? And you're thinking, Martin, why don't you designate the, the, the gummy bears ahead of time? Uh, why don't you foreknow and pre-designate the gummy bears instead of the chocolate-covered raisins? Because gummy bears are cute. They're all yellow and stuff and real soft. and cute gummy bears gummy bears you know whereas your chocolate raisins are kind of just these ugly little pellets look like kind of like rabbit turds now you should realize from like first corinthians um one you know that god chooses the unwise weak ignoble and stupid god chooses that which is not to confound that which is he chooses the weakest the ugliest so if you're chosen today you know sorry it's not exactly a compliment uh it just means that god favors you it has nothing to do with your worthiness and as i said god usually chooses the unworthy and what could be a better example of unworthiness than a chocolate covered raisin i mean honestly this doesn't mean i don't like chocolate covered raisins because in fact i do i love them uh, actually, gummy bears, I don't really care too much for them. You know, I mean, I'll eat them once in a while when I'm in a bad mood, but generally I don't really like gummy bears. So, all right, now let, let's go ahead and use almonds, you know, to demonstrate the birth canal. Uh, I always like to use almonds for that. So I'm going to show you how these different people are, are going to be born. Okay, so here's all the individuals. And these ones, these chocolate raisins are pre-designated, designated beforehand to believe. So here's the, here's the womb, you know, here's your, what you call your, what you call your cervix. And so here these people are born. This guy comes out and says, ah, whoops, sorry. And then th this person comes out and they're all born into the world. Now they're people, okay. Now they're people, sorry. This is a pre-designated one. This is one that designated beforehand, way before he was born over here, but he doesn't know it yet. And you see, coming through the womb, ouch. So as these folks are existing in the world, they all look like people, okay? Only God knows that this um, child-covered raisin here is going to be called eventually. So they, they go through their 
So they go through their life, you know, and they're living and they're living. And then all of a sudden, some one day, this person is called by God. You know, these people are watching The Simpsons. They, they don't really care about anything. This guy is like, he just likes to go to amusement parks all the time and ride roller coasters. Um, this person was born, you know, like, ow, he's coming through into the world. He likes to, uh, this guy likes to play video games all the time. All of a sudden, this person suddenly feels a call. This person one day, you know, I don't know what day it is, if it'll be Thursday or Friday or something, that, that person is going to hear, that person is going to be called. This person who was designated beforehand, this chocolate-covered raisin that was designated beforehand is going to be called sometime during their life because they were pre-designated. It's not that they were called and then designated beforehand. That's stupid. Beforehand, get it? It comes first. So if you're foreknown and designated beforehand, then sometime during your life, you are going to hear the call of Christ. The gummy bear won't hear it. The gummy bear can't hear it in this life. So these chocolate cover raisins like, are what's known as the elect, you see. These are the elect. Does that mean that the gummy bears are damned to hell for eternity? No. I mean, that's what people are taught, that the elect are saved and the non-elect are damned to hell for eternity. That's not the case. I gave you two important verses two weeks ago. One of them was 1 Corinthians 15, 21 and 22. Uh, As in Adam all are dying, thus also in Christ shall all be vivified, but every man in his own order. 1 Timothy 2, 6. Christ is giving himself a correspondent ransom for all, the testimony in its own eras. So these elect, uh, ra these elect chocolate raisins, they're born, that sometime through their life, they get the clue. God, boom, gives them faith. These people are watching The Simpsons, so that they don't know what's going on. This person then comes into justification, justified from sin, and then this person is glorified before these other people before these gummy bears, right? The chocolate-covered raisins are glorified. They, they come in first, every man in his own order. God's the savior of all, everyone in his own order. They get it now, and these, these gummy bears are damned? No, that's not the scripture verse. Jesus Christ is giving himself a correspondent ransom for all the testimony in its own eras. It's only as we realize this that we can see that being designated beforehand doesn't damn the rest. That's the problem people have with predestination. Well, that's not fair of God to choose certain people to believe in this life if he's going to damn the rest to hell for eternity. But eternal torment is a false teaching. The true teaching is that God just favors these. Yes, they, these raisins, these chocolate-covered raisins, even though they're dark, dumb, and ugly, they're going to get more than the gummy bears get. But the gummy bears are going to come in in the end. So now, when we see that God eventually has a plan for the gummy bears, we can, we can rest and we can relax. No, we can, really. We, we, we can rest and relax knowing that in God's purpose, in the fullness of time, the gummy bears are going to come too. And so the false doctrine of eternal torment is what forces us not to believe the plainest statements in the Word of God being designated beforehand, whom God foreknew. He designates beforehand predestination. It's so simple. He's calling you today, other people he's going to call later. God's the Savior of all mankind, especially of believers. That's 1 Timothy 4.10. He's the Savior of all the candy, but especially of chocolate-covered raisins. He's especially the Savior of chocolate-covered raisins because they're going to be a big part of God's coming program. They're going to get in first. It's only a matter of time. Jesus Christ was the first fruit. He was the first one to be given life beyond the reach of death. Those who are called now, those who have been pre-designated, who sometime during their life will come to a realization that God designated them beforehand, we're the next group of people to be made alive, immortal. Christ was the first, we're the second, and the rest of those gummy bears, they come later. And you can read about this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 21 through 28. Read that whole passage. You'll see three groups of people there. You'll see Jesus Christ, then you'll see the chocolate-covered raisins, then you'll see the gummy bears. Everyone comes, but only in their own order. I'm glad you could visit me here in my kitchen this morning, and I hope you never look at gummy bears the same way again.